This is Tim Hansen, and this is the worst weapon in zombies. Let's make him shoot. So Tim, have you shot anything that we have not filmed for the intro? No, I'm a gun virgin. Total gun virgin, uh, we would never lie to you. So we got the Springfield. Car 98. The two worst weapon in zombies and I'm forcing Tim to shoot and get 100% accuracy or he has to walk home. We got the Sten, bootleg type 100. We got the Uzi from Mob of the Dead. We got the we got the shotgun, the Beretta, <laughs> yes. I refuse to shoot this, and we got the uh, rising bunch of guns. We're going to force Tim to shoot every single one. Let's get into it. <laughs> Real quick, shout out to the boys over at Rally Tactical for letting me use their range. If you guys want to see more videos similar to this, make sure to check out their YouTube. Link will be down there below in the description. All right, we're going to start with the Springfield, and then we'll make our way down, and we'll end off with the greatest weapon of all time, the Car 98. You know how to shoot this. Yes, sir. Bullet, simple bullet action. It's all yours, big girl. You're doing so. I'm so proud of you. Mama! Oh, I'm out. What do you think of the Springfield? <laughs> the worst it's weapon in Dude, the worst weapon. Honestly, I uh, did, are the irons f***ed up like they are in the video game? Because I'm pretty sure yeah, in the actual yeah. game, the iron sights are f***ed up. But. Look through that. So look through that, and then the end. Line that up. See how f***ing tiny that little yeah, is? Holy shit. Impossible to see. 7 out of 10. All right, next, we'll go with the Sten. We're going to have Manlit prepare it for us because... I don't want to damage it. It's apparently expensive or something. Can't grab, I'm not allowed to grab it by the magazine. Huh? Can I grab it by the magazine? <sighs> Just a must, right here. Just gently. That's how the cool kids do it. You know what we're missing? We're missing some f***ing cigars. Also, these headphones, oh, no. all I can hear are my inner yeah, demons. And they're louder than ever. Should we toke right now? Mom said no full auto in the building! Sucks. Next, we got the Sten. So the closest thing we got to an amazing Type 100. I got a little chub going on. I don't know about you guys. Timothy! Mag bitch. Right there. <laughs> no, that one right there. Yep, good to go. I mean, I don't mind the side, I don't mind the like the side grip shit, but you know. You don't know what he's talking about. Tips is wrong. Eyes and ears, laddies! Next up, Uzi, Mob of the Dead, one of the most overrated guns probably in all of Shut the up. This is, dude, Thompson, infinitely better. Can I get a little cigar, sweetie? Here you are, open wide. I like that a lot. All right, Timmy, your turn, right, sweetie. Yeah, right Take that, that's the more important part. Give me that magazine, please. It's called the clip. Hand me the clip, please. <laughs> Hand me the clip of Zane, someone. Now you're good, now if you pull that trigger, you're good. You feel more manly? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so next up, shotgun. This is the only shotgun we have. Uh, I refuse to shoot that monstrosity right there. I rather like having my wrist, so I'm not doing that. So we have this. All right, Timothy. 
You're gonna like this one. You got like four shots. How'd you feel about the shotgun? That KSG? Good. It's close. KS, KS7? Yep. KS7. It's close. Mm. It's got KS in it. It's pretty bad. Not sure how I feel about home defense. I'm more of a PPSH kind of guy myself, but to each their own. Next up, we got the Beretta, most famously for being in Black Lagoon. That's Revy's favorite pistol. Everything else about it in real life history is lame as shit. So, you know, this is just awesome. I like that trigger. That's a really smooth trigger. I like, I mess with that. That is nice. All right, Tim, you're gonna, you wanna like this one. Oh, you big boy. I mess with that trigger. That's really nice. Well, when you shoot like this, ow! when you shoot like this, lean in there. You want to get the ass out, proper form. Ass out. Hold that, hold that. Throw it up like that. I'm learning. So we have a couple Australians here, and we thought it'd be funny if they shot the AR-15. But legally speaking, I'm pretty sure they would go to prison in Australia if like footage of them shooting this actually came out. And that's not, that is a risk I'm willing to take, but not for them, unfortunately. So. That's so dumb, bro. Unfortunately, we only have like too many. Sh we don't have that many shots. So, uh, Timothy, lean into it. Not that much kick at all. How'd that feel? Holy How'd that feel? That should be illegal. No human should be able to walk into a 7-Eleven and purchase one of these. I love you, Sean Howard. You saved our country. No one should be able to afford one of these besides me because it's pretty. Cool. Next up, we got the M50 Rising. So this gun is widely forgotten in like history in general. It was actually one of the first SMGs used for like, the US. Uh, but here's the thing. It was pretty sh pretty bad. The rumor goes that it was so bad that a certain colonel in the Japanese theater decided that this wasn't good enough. So they threw them all into alligator infested rivers and chose the Springfield instead. Allegedly, you know, don't want to get sued or anything. But the thing I hate about this gun, and the reason probably why a lot of people didn't like it, uh, it's not made for warfare. It's a good gun, just not warfare. Uh, if you want to cock it back, you got to get under here. So you have to get under there, and now you're good to go. Imagine trying to do that when you're getting shot at or like some Japanese dudes screaming something. Shit! We're dead! Sometimes when you're shooting it likes to go back to semi-automatic. Uh, I love it. So not the greatest gun. Like it's a good gun, not too much recoil, pretty accurate, but it has its problems and uh, there's a lot of them. All right, so Manlet broke the gun. So we're just gonna skip to the last and final one, the Car 98, the greatest gun in zombies. I'm gonna shoot it first because I absolutely love this thing. And then I'm gonna force Tim to load it, shoot it, and then tell me that it's good. All right, Tim. Eight millimeter Mauser, five. Like your finger in a push. And push. Put it in a push once you're done. All five in first. Oh, 
How about this was the key? All five in first. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Sorry, it's kind of hard to f***ing hear. Give Tim some credit. Uh, he lives in a state that's not too gun friendly. He loves them, but. I'm just gonna push it up and down. It's good to go. Hold his hips. Should I do the honorary crouch? Should I do the kneel down? I can do it with you if you want. Proud of you. You did it. Now, which would you rather have? The Springfield or the Car 98? <laughs> Easy choice, right? Yeah. Out of all of the full autos, which one would you rather have? I like the Uzi purely for the aesthetic reasons, honestly. Um, I don't think it's like the most if effective, but I think it's the most aesthetically profound. So that I would choose that for the automatics. And then honestly, the shotgun was killer too. That's fair. I like, well, I just like the stint. I like the side magazine. Oh yeah. A pure aesthetics. There's, that's really about it. And it's like, a, it's a literal tube gun, literal tube gun. Some dude made it in his garage. That's about it. That's the video. I'm gonna leave now. Crack cocaine. Thank you so much for watching and also a special thanks to my Patreon supporters. We got Brian Hahn, Person Person, Dirty Dan, Fat Lucky Potato, Icy Storm, Brad the Man, Giovanni Diaz, Orge Burgos, Dr. Dopey, Mayall, G Dice Smackdown, Forg, Mr. Ridgeway, and Henry Heiberg. If you'd like to be a Patreon supporter, make sure to check out that link down there below in the description. And now you may leave.